This week, we've been driving this 2021 Ram TRX, and it's time to hand back the keys, and I thought I'd do a POV night drive, summing up my experience in this monster. It has been a wild ride this week. This thing is just bonkers fast, incredibly capable, very comfortable. It's hands down the best truck I've ever driven. This truly opens up a new category of super trucks, and it's so nice to see this TRX being so well-rounded and very, very well thought out and well done. Ram did just a phenomenal job setting this thing up for what it is. It's basically just a comfortable luxury Baja truck, trophy truck for the street. It does everything well. There are no deficiencies. There is nothing lacking in this TRX except for fuel economy, but that's okay. This thing is just awesome. Let's walk you around this TRX one more time these massive 325 wide tires, 325, 65, 18s. This exhaust sounds phenomenal. The wide fenders, the way this thing looks, it just towers over every other vehicle on the road. 6.2 liter supercharged V8. The Hellcat motor makes 702 horsepower. Look at these lights here on the hood. <laughs> Two recovery hooks up front. I also think the Ram 1500 is the best truck in its category, and this thing just builds upon that. It's incredibly spacious and luxurious inside. Tons of cargo solutions. I mean, you have enough room in here. More room than like a an Escalade or anything. Anything that's just massive. You could almost fit another row of seats back here. It's crazy. This interior is very well done. The carbon fiber and Alcantara on the bottom of the steering wheel and top feels very luxurious and very right. Lots of TRX logos, all the drive settings, the infotainment, lots of adjustability in this Ram. Oh yes, it is proper. <laughs> Cup holders, USB, heated and cooled seats in the rear. Not something you see very often. And it makes all the right noises. <laughs> Just listening to that supercharger wail away every day is probably worth the $70,000 starting price on this thing. So let's get into it. How have I felt about this new Ram TRX? Well, I mean, if you can't tell already in this review, I love this truck. It is just everything that I was hoping it would be and that it was hyped up to be. Uh, let's just go into some, some of my favorite features. Uh, this TRX mode button takes you to this screen right here and you can select a bunch of different drive modes. Uh, we'll get going on the road here in a minute and kind of test some of them out, but they're all very well differentiated and they do their intended driving mode very well. Um, we've got four-wheel drive auto. This is a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle. Axle lock, four high, four low. And um, I just leave it in auto and it did its thing all week, no problems. On-road, off-road, we took this out to the Silver Lake Sand Dunes. It was a monster. We did a huge jump that we didn't get on camera and it took it and just shrugged it off. No big deal. It's as spacious and practical as any vehicle in this category. I mean, really, the only downside here is the fuel economy. We're getting around about 13, 14 on the highway, and then the rest of the time we're getting about nine or 10. Because also we're doing launches and we're getting on it and we're having some fun in this, in this TRX. Before we go for a drive, I want to remind you to fight your traffic tickets with Off The Record. Off The Record makes it easy and affordable to get your ticket reduced or even thrown out. They have a 97% success rate, and if they don't succeed, you get your money back. Wherever you're stopped, at home or on vacation, Off The Record has you covered with their network of experienced lawyers. A couple guys I work with just got their speeding tickets reduced to non-moving violations. All they had to do was upload their photos of their tickets, get their quotes, and Off The Record handled the rest. No court, no stress, no raised insurance premiums. Check it out, it's a great service. Whether you need it now or later, Download their app and sign up with the code THETOFER for 10% off your first case. 
So let's take this thing for a drive and see what it's like at night on the road. <laughs> and this 702 horsepower Hellcat motor is just one of the best V8 engines I think ever made. They're incredibly strong, incredibly reliable in performance settings. We uh, run them in the Hellcats at M1 Concours. I'm an instructor there. And some of those cars get 10, 15,000 miles, track miles, hard, 10 tenths, at the limit, at the red line, every shift, and they hold up great. There's no reason why this Ram T-Rex should be any different. Let's throw it into sport mode. It stiffens up our suspension quite a bit for better cornering on street. I love these paddle shifters that are above and below the spoke of the steering wheel. They give you room in the middle for your uh, audio and track controls. Of course, we have our digital rear view mirror. <laughs> this is such an enjoyable truck to drive. There are so many boring vehicles on the road and the TRX makes very sure not to be one of them. I mean if you're spending 70 to 90 grand on something make it fun, make it enjoyable, make it a wild ride and uh, yeah this TRX delivers in every way. Let's put it back into uh, auto here just kind of putts around comfortably. The exhaust is a little bit loud, but it's never too drony or uh, exhausting to listen to. I think it's very well tuned. They did a really nice job balancing all of the, uh, the sounds that come out of it. From the outside, it's super loud. This thing just rips. Visibility is fantastic between this digital rear view mirror, the side mirrors with the little fisheye corners. I've got very open and not a lot of blind spots in this interior. My favorite thing about this Ram is that it just feels like you can take it anywhere. You can go anywhere and do anything with this thing and it's just not gonna care. The ground clearance, the off-road ability, the capability of this truck is just mind-blowing. It really does shine in high-speed off-road environments. And it's a little bit too big in uh, tight, you know, tight trail scenarios, which is what you would expect, pretty obvious. But this thing is huge. If there's one downside to its off-road capability, it's probably too big to fit through some areas. I just love driving this thing in auto. <laughs> it actually handles pretty well in sport mode. You're you're definitely tire limited with your grip and your, your overall cornering ability. These are basically as good as makes no difference mud terrains. And uh, yeah, they don't have as much grip on the street as you would think they would, but they still, for what this is, for what this truck is, uh, they're very good. Uh, the traction, you just have to, you know, I got out of this, uh, Durango Hellcat last week and then I got into this truck and they're not the same. This is not a uh, corner carving track beast. It can handle pretty well and it does 
you know, quarter better than a lot of trucks just because of the suspension technology here. But uh, you're not going to be pulling a G around a corner like you would in the Durango Hellcat, for example. This is a, That's an interesting comparison, too, because they're about the same price, and the Durango Hellcat is a riot. One of my favorite SUVs. But compared to this new Ram, it feels pretty dated. The interior, the just everything, the feel of the, of the vehicle, the cabin, all of the tech, uh, it's, it's a little bit low on tech. And this TRX really fills the gap with that. It feels like a very modern, luxurious vehicle. And it is, it's, it's a newer platform and newer updated truck, so yeah. <laughs> Put it back into sport mode here. Yeah, the difference in the suspension stiffness is very noticeable in sport. The tires are pretty vocal too, so that helps. POV first impressions video, I said my face was going to hurt all week from smiling in this thing. It does. I was right. So, we did a lot of highway miles on this Ram TRX. How is it on the highway? Well, it's very comfortable. This, These seats are phenomenal. The radar cruise works pretty well. Uh, at one point, I was following my buddy in his Lexus GX with a small trailer and it couldn't quite tell what it was and it kept accelerating into it, uh, trying to ram it <laughs> with radar cruise enabled. So, uh, so there are some situations where if you're, you put, put your turn signal on, uh, if there's a vehicle with a trailer or something, it won't quite sense that there's a vehicle there and then it'll figure it out at the last minute. But 99% of the time, the radar cruise was very good. Uh, you can easily adjust your following distance right here. Uh, lane keep assist is basically just a, you know, it's just kind of a nanny that bumps you off the, the two lanes. Um, it doesn't really do a whole lot. So I've mostly just been leaving that off. But the radar system has done a pretty good job in this, in this ramp. So right now we're following this truck. This is about our minimum following distance. Put my turn signal on. Got our blind spot monitoring going on there and this is how fast we're going to accelerate around this truck it's going to drop a gear and get us around reasonably quickly pretty nice system on the highway this thing is stable at speed it feels great there's no wind noise there's a little bit of tire growl but that's to be expected this is a fantastic truck to drive on the highway you could really put some miles on this thing uh, it has I think a over 30 gallon fuel tank somewhere around there I'll put it right here how big the fuel tank is anyway it's massive I put 25 gallons into it and I was already a quarter tank full and it cost you know every fill up in this is going to be around 90 to 100 dollars takes premium requires premium so there's that that's going to be a little bit expensive of a proposition but hey you know that going into it and you're already spending 70 to 90 grand if you don't like the fuel economy you can, uh, you know, go get an electric car and compensate with that or make up for, for it with that. I think uh, a lot of Tesla owners and Prius owners have a dirty little secret where their other car burns a lot of gas and buying a hybrid, buying an electric car is their way of making up for it. And uh, it'd be pretty funny to have a Prius and this Ram in the same driveway. <laughs> This head-up display is beautiful. I mentioned that in my initial impressions video. Uh, it's very high res and it's a cool looking font. I just really appreciate the design there. It shows you a lot of useful information, your following distance, what highway or road you're on, the speed limit, stuff like that. It's pretty nice. I do like this infotainment. It is a uh, nice little Durango RT there, making some noise. Um, this is a very nice screen. I think it's organized pretty well. You can get your Apple CarPlay and also your climate. You know, uh, I do wish there were fewer settings hidden in menus, but I don't know. Honestly, uh, this is pretty good. Ram's done a very nice job with the 
ergonomics and the button layout in this truck. I think it's a really nice balance between the tech and the infotainment. You've got buttons and knobs for your uh, climate control. You've got a volume knob, a tune dial. You know, you're, you're in good shape. Um, the other thing, you've got all these aux ports. So if you want to uh, wire in lights or a winch or various other things, you can enable some uh, off-road accessories down here, which is very cool. Um, this shifter is awesome. Of course, it's the correct direction. Forward for downshifts, back for upshifts. Whoa. <laughs> Little exuberant there. But, you know, this, this truck just, it does it all, and it does it so incredibly well. I am um, blown away by its capability this week. I had some high expectations, and... Uh, it delivered and uh, improved upon them in many ways. So, all right, guys, that is our final video on the T-Rex this week. We've got our first impressions drive, our filming and hooning at the Silver Lake sand dunes, and this video right here. So it'll be really sad to see this thing go. Hopefully we can get some more time in one later this year or in the future. Uh, I want one of these trucks. It is just, it's so much fun. It's a little bit too big. I would like to see something uh, like this that is in the smaller Ford Ranger size. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. You know, it does still fit in a parking space. It's just really wide. You know, it's a Ram 1500 with a bunch of width on the chassis and the fenders and the wheel track and all that stuff so stay tuned at the end of this video if you want to listen to this Harman Kardon sound system we'll be doing a sound system test it's decent it suits the uh, character of this truck it bumps it sounds pretty good nothing uh, nothing revolutionary or mind-blowing but I think a $70,000 starting price vehicle it's pretty appropriate and acceptable I think that this Ram TRX really does fill in all the gaps that the Raptor has left these last few years. I mean, everyone's been clamoring from a V8 in that thing, and Ram came in, delivered, and I think beat Ford at its own game. This is just a more well-rounded truck. It has virtually no faults <laughs> besides its fuel economy, and uh, it's a very, very cohesive package that uh, just delivers on all fronts. It's a, it's a really good effort from Ram. They, they nailed this thing. So uh, props to the team that developed this. And, you know, you know good engineering and good setup and good calibration when you get in it and drive it. And uh, this thing really is uh, very impressive in, in those regards. So, okay, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We're going to walk you around this T-Rex one more time show you the interior here kind of at the in the daylight we got a little bit of night driving in this video uh, headlights are phenomenal it looks great at night with the the lights up front <laughs> just awesome and again stay tuned if you want to listen to that sound system test and i think we'll do a little we'll do a launch control in here too we've done enough of that this week but what's one more little uh, reward for sticking around to the end of the video. All right, we'll go into our sound system test. Pump up the volume. And you guys can listen to this Harman Kardon sound system.
thing is fast. It's very fast. Zero to 60 in under four seconds we've been finding impressively quick for a 6,400 pound truck. Just crazy. still rides like a truck, but it handles bumps incredibly well on just normal surface roads. There's a softness and a composure to it over bumps, especially under cornering that is uh, unlike anything else except for the Raptor. I think that's one of the reasons why it's so entertaining to drive is it's always moving around. It's always kind of bucking and yawing and All right guys, that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. We have some more vehicles coming in this week. Not as exciting, not as awesome. Um, gonna miss this TRX, and I don't say that a lot about a lot of our press vehicles that we get in and test. It's gonna be hard to let this one go, but uh, I'm sure we'll get some more time in one of these in the future. Uh, hopefully these videos have given you guys some good insight into what it's like to live with and drive the new Ram TRX. This, this could be the last of its kind. I don't know how many more supercharged V8 super trucks are gonna exist in the market, but uh, so far this is the best one I can imagine. Uh, unless a Ford comes out with something crazy with their, their Raptor R, or I don't know, we'll see. Ford Raptor has definitely had the, uh, the market on it for far too long, and it's good to have a little bit of competition. All right guys, that's it for this one. And he ran that red light. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Take care.